For better or for worse, the Fortnite World Cup is incoming, and while the 10 weeks of qualification were steeped in controversy, from a format that rewarded blind aggression over winning games, to confirmed cheater XXIF receiving just a two-week ban and then qualifying straight away after. And then one other thing, in terms of Ziff and Ronaldo, it's very easy to pile on and be negative, but let's not take away from the accomplishment and the gameplay they showed today. The results are in, and hundreds of players have booked their tickets to New York on July 26th. But this video isn't about those guys. Instead, it's about Fortnite's losers. The people that we all expected to make a big splash at the event, but they failed to even qualify. It's DeSerto's top 10 players who didn't qualify for the Fortnite World Cup. Poach is the fifth highest earner in the history of Fortnite esports, sitting pretty at 323,000 bucks made. Having represented Team Liquid since June 2018, we start with him, not because he's the least influential person in this list by any means, but because we've already dedicated an entire video to his failure to qualify, which you can find in the description. Poach failing to make the World Cup became big news because in its aftermath, he announced he'd be quitting competitive Fortnite to focus more on streaming and content creation. I don't really enjoy playing Fortnite competitively, like, just because, like, I don't feel like the game is very competitive, and I don't like, um, all the factors that seem to matter so much, um, when it comes to competitive play. I'd rather, like, enjoy myself and stream. With 1,000 to 2.5k viewers on average, he should be absolutely fine financially, but it's just a shame that the game has gone in a direction that he can no longer find enjoyable. German Liam Cano Fillery is up there with the best of them, having earned the 20th largest amount of money in Fortnite esports history with $165,000. His org, Ghost Gaming, will have plenty of representation at the World Cup, in the form of American Sean and Aiden, Talisman Bizzle, the highest earner in the game, and Issa, who qualified as a solo player. But Issa did not qualify for the duos, meaning his partner, Camo, is left without a spot. This EU team are generally seen as one of the best duos in the world, but Issa, injuring his hand during practice, can't have helped during their World Cup preparation. More bad luck for poor old Ghost. Dylan DMO Moore is next in their big list of players not to make the cut. With $231,000 in prize winnings to his name, the 14th most out of anyone, it's a shock that we won't see DMO in New York flying that Ghost flag. Despite teaming with the superhuman Bizzle, who, lest we forget, is the highest earner in Fortnite esports ever, his duo placings weren't great, and a 50th place finish in the final qualifying week was the last nail in the coffin. Symphony is, seemingly, a streamer on the rise, and 2019 has seen his Twitch channel absolutely balloon in views and sub count. He's also never afraid to let those watching know how good he thinks he is. After joining NRG in March, the World Cup was set to be Symphony's big stage, but after failing to qualify, the American will have to wait for his shot at the big time until the next Premier Epic Tournament rolls around. Another huge miss is Ryan Chap Chaplow, one of Team Liquid's biggest stars. Just a couple thousand bucks shy of breaking into the top 10 Fortnite earners, the World Cup represented a massive chance for Chap to do so. But sadly, despite teaming with a similarly unfortunate poach, he couldn't qualify. With 312,000 YouTube subs and thousands of Twitch viewers, Chap's gonna be fine financially, but he's a competitor first, so failing to make the cut is sure to sting. Personality first, competitor second, Luminosity Gaming Cypher PK is with his org as a streamer rather than a pro player. And with 1.7 million YouTube subs, he's definitely putting plenty of eyes on their brand. In World Cup qualification, he performed admirably, but despite placing fourth in the Week 8 NA qualifiers with regular World Cup teammate Ranger, he couldn't quite get the points he needed. Whether he attends, hosts a viewing party, or is involved in some official capacity, Cypher PK is bound to make plenty of content for his fans around the event itself. Another born entertainer, and also a regular streaming buddy of Cypher PK, FaZe Clan's Nick Merckx gave it a good shot with controller in hand, but couldn't quite make the final cut with duo's partner and fellow controller player, Neo Roach. With almost 2 million YouTube subs to his name, streaming is undoubtedly more important than competitive play for Nick Merck's bottom line. So any chance he'll pull a poach and back out of any upcoming tournaments? Let's let him answer that. He'll be back for the Trios event on July 13th, alongside Cypher PK and one other. One of the more popular competitive players in the scene, the 72 Hours World Cup story was one of being so near, yet so far. He and fellow Team Liquid Duo's teammate Vivid fell just a few points short of making the World Cup after 10 gruelling weeks of qualifiers. 
For context, 72 hours is the sixth highest Fortnite earner of all time, and his World Cup story ended like this. It didn't help that on the final day, they were plagued by massive matchmaking queues, eating into the time they had available to get the points they needed. But 72 hours is $315,000 pale in comparison compared to FaZe's Cloak, whose 421k prize winnings include first place at the Fortnite Full Skirmish alongside controversial Tifu. Unfortunately, that number's not going to get any bigger thanks to the World Cup, despite Cloak and Tifu coming incredibly close. They gave themselves a chance going into the final game of qualification, but would have needed around 30 points to make up for lost time. In the end, it simply wasn't possible. No one really thinks that Ninja is the best in the game anymore, but his failure to qualify is undoubtedly still a massive deal. Ninja is Fortnite personified, and seeing him missing out on a place in the game's biggest tournament yet is actually kinda sad. Like everyone on this list, he wasn't too far away, missing out by just two points in week six. But it just wasn't to be for Ninja and his duo's partner, Reverse 2K. On the plus side, and we're sure that Epic are as relieved about this as anyone, Ninja has confirmed that he will be attending as a fan. Expect to see plenty of close-ups of him in the crowd as the event unfolds. The Fortnite World Cup starts July 26th. The top solo player alone will win $3 million. Just let that sink in. Let us know who you think is going to bring home that bacon in the comments. Otherwise, as ever, thank you so much for watching.